here then hi hello welcome my name is Maddie and today I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit of a mini shopping spree slash all the things that I bought myself for my birthday <laughs> so by the time you're watching this I will have just turned 25 I'm filming it the week before but in preparation for my birthday I always like to go out and get myself a few new things normally back in Adelaide I would have gone online and done some online shopping but here it's a little bit more difficult but I did manage to go to the local malls and get myself a few new goodies and I wanted to share it with you so before I hop in and show you the first outfit if you do enjoy this video and you want to see more from me then I would love it if you could give it a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hit the little notification bell so that you never miss an upload this is going to be the last video this month that is birthday themed and then very soon I'm going to get into all of my Halloween content which I am very excited about. So if you've just found my channel then this is the perfect time to subscribe and stick around because I have a lot of cool videos coming really really soon. But for now let's get into my haul. Okay so most of the shopping I did was at Zara so I think I'm going to save all that for the end and show you kind of the random small bits and pieces first. Now the first thing I wanted to show you is these shoes. Now unfortunately this is from a brand that don't have an online store, they only have an Instagram and a Facebook page. So unless you live here in Uruguay like I do, you're not going to be able to get your hands on these but I did want to show them quickly anyway. I got these new shoes, I featured them in my video last week so I'll have that link down below, the Kardashian latex lookbook. So go check that out if you want to see how I paired these but this is from a brand called Tits. I think it's French, it might be Uruguayan, honestly we don't know but it is the one place in town that tend to have stilettos which is my preferred style of shoe. The trends here for shoes seem to be chunky chunky heels and like big platforms which again not something I'm used to but I'm willing to start being more adventurous and breaking out of my comfort zone with my fashion and shopping with the local trends. <laughs> So these were like three and a half thousand pesos. I will try to convert that into US dollars and put it up on the screen if I can remember. But yeah, they're not cheap, but I do love them and I will be wearing them a lot. Okay, so the next store I went to is Indian Emporium. So I have mentioned them before on my channel. They are very reasonably priced here and have some really trendy pieces. So again, for my video last week, I wore that little grey hoodie, super basic, not that exciting, so I'm not going to talk about that too much, but that was, I think, on sale for like 600 pesos, whereas all the other zip-ups I could find were like over a thousand, and I was just like, mm, not really worth it, and I got this belt, which I paired with this jumpsuit, I can't remember where I got the jumpsuit from, oh, this is just from Forever 21. So this belt is something fun and different and very bright and colourful and I thought it matched with this jumpsuit perfectly. I even wore them together in a vlog, so I'll have that link down below where we went to a Japanese garden. That was only at the start of this week, but the video would have gone up last week by the time you're seeing this. But yeah, something fun and different and we are in spring here because I'm in the southern hemisphere. And I'm trying to be a bit more adventurous, wear a bit more colour and just branch out of my comfort zone. And this is definitely doing that. Okay, last but not least, I did just grab a little journal because I'm all, always running out of notepads and some earrings. I didn't mean to grab the earrings, I just got them at the checkout because it was two, no, three accessories for the price of two and I got this and the belt. And then the lady at the checkout was trying to explain it to me and I was like, I'm so sorry, like in Spanish, I was like, I only speak a little bit of Spanish, like I can't understand, but we got there in the end that it was yeah, three for the price of two, and no one there speak any English, which I don't expect people here to speak English. I do try my best, and luckily I figured it out in the end, but I've gotten pretty lucky, and most people on the shops tend to speak like a little bit, so I can always figure out what I need. Okay, so now for the big bag. Now on top I just have some new coat hangers stuck on there, because every time I went to the store to get more of 
the coat hangers I have. They were always sold out. And then after I did all this shopping, I realized that I was gonna need some more coat hangers. So, not very exciting, but yeah. Again, back when I was living in Australia, I would try to not go out and buy more hangers. It, if I did shopping and I wouldn't fit in my wardrobe, that meant it was time to get rid of some stuff. But here, I still haven't built up enough of a collection of things to start having to worry about getting rid of stuff. I've been pretty selective about what I buy, only buying things that I will genuinely wear again and again. So yeah, so far so good. I haven't had to get rid of anything. Actually from Zara, first of all, the outfit I'm wearing right now is from Zara. It's from their basics collection. I will, again, I will try to link these down below because you should be able to shop this pretty much wherever you are in the world. But it's this nude colored high neck little top. This is only, I think, 500 pesos or something. And then I got the matching little biker shorts on. These are so comfortable. I just know I'm gonna be living in these all spring long. I, I don't know that I'm going to be wearing this out and about because it is very tight and figure hugging. And I think here they're marketed as like shapewear. So I don't know if that means you're just supposed to wear it underneath other things or what, but in Australia, this would have been an outfit. And if you live somewhere like LA, this is an outfit. But here, you'd probably want to throw something on over the top. It's a little bit more, I mean, not that the people here are super conservative, but it's a little more conservative than Australia. So I also got the same set, but in the leggings version. I got all the bottoms in a size medium large and the tops in a small or an extra small to small. So yeah, these are the medium large and these were 1,000 pesos. But again, I'm gonna wear the, like, wear the hell out of these. These are long, just full length black ribbed leggings. I only have one pair of black leggings here and they are honestly too small for me. I just keep wearing them because they're my only pair of black leggings. So these were an essential in my wardrobe. And then I got the same top I've got on now, but in black. So I will try these on over here and show you what this set looks like. But absolutely obsessed with these. We'll be wearing them again, at least inside, but the leggings I feel like I can definitely get away with out and about. Maybe it's just the fact that it's the nude color. There's a little bit more, you know, out there, but we'll see. And the tops were, yeah, 550 pesos and the leggings were 1,000 and... Okay, I thought so. I also got the black, well, I also got the, I also got the biker shorts in the black color. So again, exact same fit as the ones I've got on now. And the biker shorts were 890. It's not, you know, Super cheap, but also very reasonably priced for such a high quality and like when I say these are the comfiest sets I own while still being super cute, like I can just imagine like this outfit being something that like, Kim Kardashian would wear. Obviously she'd pair it with a pair of heels or something or some really big chunky sneakers, but I'm obsessed. It's so cute, so comfortable, a must have. If you have this near you, get it. Okay, so the last thing I'm pretty sure in the ribbed style is this little lavender colored top. Similar to this, but not quite so high neck, but yeah, same fabric, very cute, very soft. I just love the color. I was never really a huge fan of purple until recently, but now I just seem to keep buying more and more purple. They did have these in other styles as well. They had long sleeves, all these little cap, like little short sleeve ones, but the short sleeve ones has this really weird scoop neck it just wasn't flattering on me so I've just gone with these instead and this top was again 550 and I got it in the extra small small all right so now on to the more exciting stuff the reason I actually went into Zara in the first place was to find an outfit to wear on my actual birthday and after seeing this I just knew I had to get it again out of my comfort zone, not saying I would normally wear, but it is this little blazer dress. It's sleeveless. You probably can't tell until I try it on, but it's got a tie around the middle, some gold buttons. It does come down quite low, but not too scandalous. So I will see when I try it on if I'm gonna wear it out with like a little black, um, 
like tank top underneath and some biker shorts or if I can get away with wearing it as a dress it's kind of just borderline where it's dress length but maybe it's slightly too short I don't know I'll see you again when I try it on but I think I'm gonna wear this out for dinner on my birthday but I did actually also find a backup outfit which I will show you next but yeah I just love this and it actually reminded me of something my best friend would have worn but you know what I'm gonna give it a go and this is in a size small and it was 2000 690 pesos so a little bit more on the pricey side but it is tailoring so that's to be expected they do also have like matching pants and stuff if you want to wear it as like a two-piece suit kind of a thing but i thought it looked cuter as the little dress and that's how they styled it on the website so i'm pretty sure it's intended to be a dress but again i'm slightly taller than the average person here so sometimes you got to be a little bit um careful about how things fit but I was just imagining this with either some little black, like not even knee length, but just like ankle stiletto boots. I thought this would look so cute. I almost got some boots from Zara, but I didn't. So maybe I'll have to go back and get those because the only boots I have with me are either some super old ones or my new like pleaser heels, which are just a little bit too much with this because they're like fully thigh high, like plastic, shiny black. There are a lot, and that with this dress would not be cute, but yeah, I could pretty much wear anything with this, but I just think some little black booties would be the way to go. Okay, and last but not least, I have a three-piece set. Actually, when I tried this on, I didn't even realize it came in three pieces, but it is this long pink ribbed skirt. I'm really feeling the ribbed fabric at the moment. I don't know why, but it's just so comfortable, so flattering. You'll see in the try-on, it just fits me so perfectly around the waist and then it's loose and flowy enough at the bottom while it still is figure hugging but doesn't feel tight if you know what I mean it is just an amazing skirt and I'm going to be wearing this all spring and summer long either with the matching set or styled with just like some white pieces things like that but yeah this skirt was 1,990 pesos so again this one was on, more on the pricey side but I'm going to keep wearing this and I don't have any long skirts like this and it's in the perfect blush pink color that I am just obsessed with and then the matching little top that it well it just doesn't come with it but they pair them together is this little top here I actually got this in a size medium in the end the only thing about this is it has like knitted in the little under boob marks which sometimes don't sit in the correct place depending on you know sizes but Otherwise, I love it. Very like thin little straps, dainty little top, but paired with either the skirt or even some blue denim jeans, I think will look so cute in the summertime. And then when I went back to swap the size over for the top, I realized there was also a cardigan and I just couldn't help myself but get the matching cardigan. So this one is in a size small and I love this as well. This was 1,600 pesos, so again, not super cheap, but I'm imagining this either with the with the skirt and the top, like all three together, or swap the top out for a white one and just put this with the skirt. Also very cute, you can have it closed or open, wearing it with denim, a white little dress, literally anything. It's like a cute little crop length that's not too cropped, but it's also not long, if you know what I mean. And again, I just love the color and I feel like it just pairs with everything, very neutral, but still, a little bit of color and still very chic so that is everything I got all right I just tried this on and I realized I forgot to say that the sleeves are actually slightly wide sleeves a little bit of like a bell sleeve which I'm obsessed with and these little cardigans right now are super trendy to just wear like one button done up with you know like something super skimpy underneath or whatever but I like it just like this either with all three together or you know mix and match but I would probably wear this with either some nude heels or some chunky sneakers like I showed before actually. These same ones that I would basically have worn with the other ribbed outfits. I obviously wouldn't wear sneakers with the white vest dress but otherwise these pretty much go with everything which is why <laughs> everyone needs these in their closet. So that is it, that is my haul for today. I think I actually managed to keep this fairly short for once in my life. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could give it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you're not already and you do wanna see more videos from me, hit the notification button so you can never miss a video. 
and comment down below to let me know which outfit or which item was your favorite also whereabouts in the world do you live i'm always curious whenever i do look at the statistics on my videos more viewers tend to be from the us or from europe places like that in the northern hemisphere so yes you guys are all heading into fall and winter but here summer is just around the corner and i could not be more excited and don't forget, if you want to know more about what I'm up to, go follow us over on the vlog channel. I'll have that link down below. I might even vlog on my birthday. We have some plans to go out with some new friends. Well, Alejandro's old friends, but new to me. This is actually my first birthday away from my family or any of my friends. So new starts and all. But again, vlog channel link down below if you want to go check it out. But I'll also, of course, be posting over on my Instagram all day as well. So follow over there if you want to see more but for now thanks for watching love you guys so much and i will see you on friday with my first halloween video